We are getting a look inside a home the town of Colony is calling a boarding house. The town shut part of it down today, saying the living conditions just not safe. Tori Wells was there early this morning when code enforcement went in, and she's live there this evening. Tori, why was the town concerned? Well, the town says it noticed things like this. Newspapers used as shades in the window. So it decided to inspect the home yesterday. It came back today with a list of violations. Tonight, the town shared a number of pictures with us that it says it took inside. The town of Colony says it took these pictures inside this home, showing multiple bunk beds in a room, multiple rooms numbered on one floor. The town attorney says there were 15 rooms with close to 40 beds. This house has turned into a, a boarding house, which is illegal in, the, in this zone. Town Supervisor Paula Mahan says Colony had concerns about safety, writing 12 violations for the first floor and basement of this home, including violations for not having proper bathrooms, problems with smoke detectors, The town attorney says Colony has dealt with similar conditions in the past and will continue to look for others. We are looking through this type of thing throughout the town. Hopefully we won't find any more. The town says that a family lives upstairs. Condition that conditions there are fine. They just need to add smoke detectors and they can stay there. I tried to speak with the owner on the phone today. He told me he was very busy and hung up. The town told me he will have time to fix these violations. He will be due in court. Uh, just about three weeks. They also told me that it will be up to him to find new places for these residents to live. We are live in Colony, Tori Wells, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Tori. This Cohoes taxi driver is in the Montgomery County Jail tonight, accused of making unwanted sexual contact with a client. State police say Sahail Ali Wahid was working as a cab driver for Upstate Taxi out of Clifton Park at the time. They say the alleged sexual abuse happened. It happened in Montgomery County. Investigators say they believe there may be other victims and they are encouraging them to come forward.